Hi everyone, Dr. Bruce here. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the secretions of the digestive system. So when we digest food, food enters the mouth, it gets chewed up and mixes with saliva. So there are the salivary glands there, they produce the saliva, which contains a lot of mucus, but also contains the first digestive enzyme called salivary amylase. And this enzyme digests carbohydrates. So carbohydrate digestion begins in the mouth. So the food is chewed up, forms a bolus, you swallow it, goes down the esophagus and enters the stomach. There are a number of secretions in the stomach. So there, the first set of secretions comes from the parietal cells. The parietal cells contain your proton pumps, which produce hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions help to produce hydrochloric acid. The parietal cells also secrete intrinsic factor. An intrinsic factor is important with regard to vitamin B12 absorption. So if there's stomach lining damage and you're not secreting intrinsic factor, you may not be able to absorb vitamin B12 and you develop what's called pernicious anemia. There are also the chief cells which secrete pepsinogen. Pepsinogen combines with hydrochloric acid to produce pepsin and pepsin digests proteins. There's of course an alkaline mucus secreted by the stomach that helps to protect it from its own hydrochloric acid. There's a hormone secreted by the G cells called gastrin and gastrin is the hormone that promotes gastric secretions. The enteroendocrine cells secrete ghrelin which is an important hormone because it increases hunger. So if you haven't eaten for a while, ghrelin secretion increases. And also somatostatin, another hormone that inhibits digestion. Food enters the stomach, but what exits the stomach is a pasty substance called chyme. Chyme exits the stomach and enters the next part of the digestive system called the duodenum. The duodenum is in close proximity to the pancreas. The pancreas has a dual role. It functions in the endocrine system with regard to blood glucose regulation, but in the digestive system, it contains this pancreatic duct, which is also an exocrine gland, which secretes substances for digestion. Now, there are a lot of substances secreted by the pancreas. There are enzymes for everything, for carbohydrates, for fats, and for proteins. For carbohydrates, there's an amylase, for proteins, there are a number of enzymes because proteins are complex. Trypsin, chymotrypsin, carboxypolypeptidases, all of those work to break down proteins. There's a lipase for lipids, and then there's a phospholipase A2 and a lysophospholipase or phospholipase B that helps to break down the cell membranes into phospholipids. There's a cholesterol esterase for cholesterol, and then there are nucleases which break down the nucleotides of DNA and RNA. A very important secretion from the pancreas is bicarbonate ions. Bicarbonate ions actually neutralize acidic chyme. So chyme, acidic chyme enters the duodenum, but enzymes work better under alkaline environments. So that's why these bicarbonate ions are secreted. The duodenum also secretes some substances. First of all, there's bile. Bile is stored in the gallbladder, it's made in the liver, and flows via the common bile duct to the hepatopancreatic ampulla and enters the duodenum. Its job is to emulsify fats or to increase the surface area of fats so that the enzymes can do a better job of breaking them down. There's also CCK or cholecystokinin, which promotes bile secretion. So when fatty chyme enters the duodenum, it secretes cholecystokinin, and then the gallbladder constricts and pushes the bile into the duodenum. And a hormone called secretin. This one promotes pancreatic secretions, but inhibits gastric secretions. So as chyme moves into the duodenum, we want more digestion to occur, but we don't want a lot of secretions in the stomach to occur because the, the hydrochloric acid will burn up the stomach. Moving on to the small intestine, there are a couple of different uh, structures here. There's Brunner's glands, which secrete an alkaline mucus. Again, enzymes work better in an alkaline environment. There are the creeps of Levercon. These contain goblet cells, which secrete mucus. Um, there are also enterocytes, which secrete the enzymes in the small intestine, plus water and electrolytes. The enzymes include peptidases, which break down the peptides into amino acids. There are a number of uh, carbohydrate digestion substances, sucrase, maltase, isomaltase, and lactase, which break down disaccharides into monosaccharides, and intestinal lipase, which breaks down lipids. So hopefully uh, you've learned something with regard to digestive system substances, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.